uh, one Friday sa Bible study, si Pastor John nag-send sa konsang message with a picture. Hambal ni Pastor John, may tanawa bala. May bata sa picture. Kaya ang inang abata is not part of the group. And so, namangkot ako sa mga ara dito and they sent me that picture and confirmed na may bata manggit sa sina nga picture pero hindi part sa group. Wala nila nakita pero sa picture nag-appear sa Bible study naman nga group. And medyo na goosebump man ako kay ang itsura sa bata para yugit sa bata sa isa ka nag-attend dira ang height, ang itsura, ang buhok para yugit ara pa sa ako na ito yung picture pero hindi niya yung pagpangayo ah. <laughs> Pariyogit, pero lain ng bayo, lain ng pungos. Kaya kang inang abata, ginasabak yas ang nanay niya. What do I mean? Satan is real. Spirits are real. And uh, please pray for me while uh, ginawali ko yung mensahe. And I also interviewed a friend nga nakabible study kami sa isa ka mall. And he was possessed. Demon possessed. And hindi niya makontrol ang ear words, although nga he is partially aware sa environment. Hindi niya makontrol ang iya ba-ba, ginapahambal siya sa name ni Jesus. Tingala siya. Hindi niya mahambal. Grabe no? And stories after stories, we know that this being are real. Nga ginambal ko niya siya. We are not here to have a horror story, no? Ako li gusto ko nitani is preach sa mag November na pero somewhat related pero this is not a of course a horror story nga wali. Ah uh, ginahambal ko lang na sa inyo because ang aton nga wali subong is freedom from the dominion of Satan and his demons. Freedom freedom from the dominion of Satan and from demons. Now just a short recap. We think that freedom is doing whatever we want. That is the world's version of freedom. Magambal ka freedom, gusto ko brahon ang akong gusto. To satisfy and serve myself, right? And this has been the greatest lie sang yawa instilled to humanity. Matthew 10, 39, whoever finds their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life for my sake, will find it. Notice this, that the more we try to live our lives on our own, our own, own terms, on our own definition, it is as if that we are losing our grip sa life, the more we lose it. Have you noticed it, that the more our quest to financial freedom, the more we become enslaved to the love of money, the more we become greedy. We think that life is doing whatever we want. And then we lose it. We lose our lives, being bondage to our own desire. God created us for freedom. Nato na nato nagligad. And we are to fight for this freedom. Amon niya ang nadula sa garden. And so far, natakal naton freedom from the power and fear of death. Freedom from condemnation and guilt last Sunday. And Mambal na to, no? What is really freedom and what is really our prison? Nawari. Anything that controls you is your prison. Iapuson tang definition na para clear sa itong tanan. Anything that controls you is your prison. Second Peter 2.19 They promise them freedom, referring to the false teachers. While they themselves are slaves of depravity. For people are slaves to what Mastered them. People are slaves to whatever has mastered them. Again, God called us to be free, and Satan brought bondage and slavery. But of course, we know that he is the leader. Sang rebellion sa langit, and he brought one third sang. Uh, angels sa langit, kag-ari diri sila sa, sa, sa earth. Now, the devil is, our, is a deceiver and he disguises himself as an angel of light. 
And of course, he's the father of lies. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Now notice yang si Satan is the very contrast of who Jesus Christ is entangled. Ginhigtan ka, ginchain ka. Okay? Now, 1 John 5.19, we know that we are from God and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. Ano ba tang balon? That Satan is the God of this world and ang iya influence is very evident sa makita natun subong wars, murder, rape, grabe, sexual perversions. Sa US, subong mga drug queen ginapasaot na sa mga kindergarten. Kabalo ka mo ng drug queen, hindi drugs nga, D-R-U-G, ha? Mga agi, nga lang agad sa laot. Gagasok-sok sila, iban wala pa bayo. Now, have you seen the movie Dammer? Okay. Grabe ka brutal, ginapamatay niya mga tao, ginasulod niya, ginachap-chap niya, sulod sa ref, kaginakaon. And who do you think ang naga influence on that kind of spirit? Do you think it's all psychological problem? No. There is a force behind those things. There are wars. Because Satan is the god of this world and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. Anong botang balon? Lies. It is being controlled. Again, whatever controls you is your prison. We have become prisoners of Satan. Ang kalibutan. Now, kita ninyo dere. 2 Corinthians 4.4 in their case, the God of this world. You see that? The God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. People are blinded. Blinded by entertainment. Blinded by pleasure. Blind, blinded by pain. Blinded by riches of this world. Para ano? So that they could not see the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nalingaw subong ang tao sa kalibutan. Have you noticed that? Grabe subong ang entertainment. You can't even get out of your phones. Though may magnet ang imo kamot. Di mo na makontrol. And so you be, have become a prisoner of the things of the world. Stealer si Satan. And he has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. 2 Timothy 2.26, nga baldera, and they, and they, and that, they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil. Now notice this. Who has taken them captive to do his will? You see that? My plano ang yawa, kagang plano niya is to make us captive to follow what he wants. Please understand the devil's tactics. Kaya i-discuss na natin karoon in detail kung ano ang mga ginaubra sang yawa sa aton kabuhi to put us into, the bond, into that bondage, into that slavery na hindi natin makontrol ang aton kaugalingon. That there is a force that controls us, hindi nang ginoo, kundi ang yawa na galit. The force behind those things na ginaubra natin. Gabi no, very clear that Christ came for our freedom the devil came for our bondage, for our prison. Ambaldirao, who has taken them captive to do his will. Another verse, Ephesians 2, 1 to 3, And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world. Now notice this, the next term. Following the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. You see that? Nga grabe ka laot ang kalibutan subong in the last days people will be lovers of themselves because Satan knew that his days are numbered. He is restless. Sama na sa Revelation. Ang hambal sa Mark. Satan is restless because his days are numbered. And he is busy. Gadobol time ang yawa subong. He is the one who is at work in the sons of disobedience, referring to the unbelievers, so following the prince of the power of the air. 
Now verse 3, all of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But ang balon, hindi na kita ya enslaved by Satan. Ang baldera sa verse 3, all of us also lived, past tense, among them at one time. Okay? So Satan is the one who imprisoned the world and the unbelievers and he seeks to enslave. Again, he is a spirit of bondage. Genesis 2.16, going back to the garden, amun ang balin Jesus kagina, he is the father of lies even from the beginning. He is a murderer and the father of lies. Nagumpisa pa lang ang, ang humanity from the beginning of time, amun na ang yawa. Genesis 2.16, the greatest gift again of God to man is freedom. Because love requires freedom. Right? And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any in the garden. And our freedom was removed from us by Satan. But the Spirit of the Lord brings freedom. There is freedom in God. Now, Jesus Christ came to set us free from Satan's power. Amun yung isa sa mga pinakanami ng freedom na dapat natin tunan. Next Sunday, tunan natin freedom from the bondage of sin. How to deal again with addiction, with repetitive sins. Okay, as if na daw hindi mo kaya dago ng temptation. Now, we will all deal with that sa next Sunday pa. But tunan natin the force behind sa itong sin, sa itong temptation. Now, 1 John 3, 8, ang hambal, the reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. Again, what is the devil's work? To have us in prison, bondage, in slavery. But Jesus Christ came to set us free and enjoy the freedom. Luke 4, 18. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, and recovery of sight for the blind. Now notice this. To set the oppressed free. I want you to notice the word oppressed. Ano meaning sa word no oppressed? Oppressed means to be enslaved and abused by someone with authority. It's like a prison. Ngayon, hindi ka kagwa, pero ginaabusaran ka. That is oppression. Because we will talk about demonic oppression subong aga. Now, possession is different. Oppression is different, man. Sa oppression. Possession and oppression. Now, we'll go on sa demonic uh, possession. Ang sample sa Bible is this. So, Mark 5, 1 to 9, there is this guy yung uh, pagtabok ni Jesus sa Lake of Galilee, sa Piyak, sa Decapolis nga area. There was this guy nga na uh, possess ang demonyo. And hindi lang isang nagpossess iya. Isang pinamangkot ni Jesus, so what is your name? Mga bal nila, we are legion. For we are many. Hindi ko lang pag i-mimic ang voice. Basi ang ayan, black wow. Now, ang balira, they went across the lake, the region of Gerasenes, when Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. Now, ang demon, impure spirit, uh, isa lang na term ha? Okay, evil spirits, impure spirits, de demons, isa lang na referring to one being. Now, when Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs, and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. Now, hambal natin, we were talking about freedom. Now, this man, hindi nila kaya i-bound. Kaya ang iyang prison is not outward, ang iyang prison is inward. He is possessed. Magambal kita possessed, you have no control over your mind, you have no control over your body because someone has taken hold of it. That is possession. Okay? Now, ang iyang prison, ara sa sulod, hindi siya kagwa. Sa mga baldi rao, no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained hand and foot. Tiil ka gamot. But he tore the chains apart. Pero tika persado. Sino diri ka kita sang demon possession? 
sang last week sorry anay kami ni Sir Libuon kag ni Mami Lohis first hand gid nila na experience ang demon possessed nga babaye gabaga ang mata kag ang lasi gapula kinatabunan lang nila mag cast out kay di ka kwenta to lokon may ara man niya sa Facebook na grabe ang waras sing babaye and then gintampa sang exorcism bali aray ang sakit okay <laughs> grabe waras kita niyo na <laughs> fake yale <laughs> No, may mga fake, no? Pero may harap, may interview nga naglain ni Churaya sa kotse. I don't know kung fake na kotse. But I tell you, to do din siya. Okay? May isa ka-instance ka nga 100 plus ka-students, dulungan, demon possessed. Kaya di ka-persado. Migo ko nga maestro na demon possessed iya sa dyanti. Nga perti kaniwang sang babae, hindi islak daog. Ah, oh, grabe mo na mo. Kaya ka-plak, bilo ka kaput. Do si Samson lang, ginapang ano ko na sila. Yung iwang, may muscle, imagine. Na pang ano lang sila. Now, and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. No one. Now notice this. No one is strong enough to subdue him. Now I tell you, no one can defeat demons, not even you. The angel has more power than us because of the fall. No one except Christ, of course. No one except Christ. Ang balirao, no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. Kabi no? Verse 6. When he saw Jesus from a distance, layo pa lang, kita niya si Jesus, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. Pati ang ininga dimunyo, nga ra dito, nag-worship kay Kristo. Amo na namin, sayawa, no? Mas lala pa ganyang atheist ang sayawa, no? Because atheists don't believe in God, demons believe and shudder. Seven, he shouted at the top of his voice, sing, get siya. What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? Kilala nila si Jesus, what do you want from me? In God's name, don't torture me. Kabalo ang yawa nga si Jesus will bring judgment. Every time nga maka-encounter si Jesus sa mga demon possessed, kapurog ang yawa. Ah. Kilala nila si Kristo mo. And Christ has authority over them. Kulubahan sila kay Jesus. Ang balaya, kapag igluoy ang yawa, don't torture me. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion. He replied, For we are many. Now, hambal sa mga ininga mga yawa, Ihaboy na lang kami sa baboy. That's why nga ganagan lang takaon sa baboy. Okay. I'm not saying nga maara dito sila, ha? Okay. Now, ginaboy sa baboy, na ng baboy nag, naglupso man. <laughs> I don't know nga, ah. Now, nakita natin that this man is freed from his possession because of Christ. Just the presence of Jesus, my authority is Christ. Come out. Now, another instance are. Are naman crippled woman. Kagina man, crippled woman. Now, are ya, hindi ni siya possession, but rather oppression. Okay? Outward. Luke 13, 10 to 13. Okay, tanawan ninyo sa inyong Bibles. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues. And synagogue is a house of prayer and uh, teaching. Okay? And a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit. Mangamal kita crippled, hindi siya kalakat, hindi siya kagiho. Nga anong cause? Because of a demon sa life niya. For 18 years, imagine, lawig-lawig, 18 years, wala gin siya na freed. Crippled siya, hindi siya kagiho. She was bent over and could not straighten, straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Tawag niyang babae. Woman, you are set free. Kita niyo ang language ni Christ. This woman is crippled, imprisoned by this demon. He could not do anything. But when Christ saw her, humbly Jesus, you are set free. You are set free. Then he put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Jesus Christ came to set us free.
from the power of Satan. And where did he achieve this victory? Where? Diin inigin ang ang kadalagan natun over this diin ginhimo ni Kristo. The answer is this: It is on the cross. Remember the prophecy. Sang nagpakasala si Adam kag si Eve, naghatag dayon promesa ang ginoo kag in curse sang ginoo ang yawa, and this is the curse. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. Now notice this: ang yawa anong naigo ang igo on sa yawa? Ulo. Ano ang maigo sa seed of a woman? Heel. Notice this? Ang ulo is ang pinaka mambal naton nga crucial. Ano na? Part nga maigo mo na patay gagid ya. Ang heel ya ara sa pinaka dalong pero mapilasan ka lang hindi ka maano. And kung ano ang ginpilas sa seed sang woman Amo man na ang mag-crush sa head ni Satan. Can you see the illustration? Because this finds its fulfillment sa kay Christ. Nga ang ina nga you will strike his heel is referring to the cross, his death on the cross. Nga Jesus Christ allowed death to conquer him and Satan did not know nga ang ina nga death mismo ang magbuka sa iya ulo. That heel nga gin-strike niya is the one nga magtapak sa iya ulo, kag magbuka sa iya ulo. Grabe nga prophecy. And this happened on the cross. Seed of a woman, why? Ang seed, ginapermi lang na ginarefer sa mga men. Okay? Biblical term ni siya. Pero diri, ang prophecy is the seed of the woman that refers to the virgin birth of Christ na si Jesus did not come From a human nga father, but rather he came from the Holy Spirit, from a mother without a human father. That refers to the virgin birth. Amen. And this happened on the cross. Christ fulfilled that promise. Ang ginoo ng ina ng curse ng gintala sang yawa, the bondage ng gintala niya sa tao will be broken on the cross because of the sacrifice of Christ. Satan strike the heel of Jesus, but that heel, amo man ang nagbuka sa iya ulo. John 12.31, before Christ was crucified and arrested, amo man ang bal, at the time of his arrest and crucifixion, Jesus drew near and said, Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. But amo man ang driven out will have no authority. See that? Colossians 2.15, And I like it. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. You see that? The sacrifice in a battle daily sa life naton. We are still in a battle. There is still oppression sa life naton. And the morning class in battle would lie dag on. Kaya nga ah. Why? It is an invisible battle. Hindi naton makita ang aton kaaway. Sometimes ga pakita sila. No. Mayara man nga gapang luyagan ni Isaiah Capri. No. Ang nabala nga gapray ka man tani nga may mangluyag sa imo. Tapos paglakat mo, kita mo sa paho, Capri. <laughs> Nare. Ephesians 6:12. Si Paul ini nagambal for our battle. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and authorities. Now notice again the term, rulers and authorities. Balik balik kagina. Powers and authorities. Rulers and authorities. Against the power, now notice this, of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Uto, I want you to understand that ang tanan nga gina experience naton nga battle subong whatever battle it is sa life naton there is a force behind it hindi ako nagambal okay 
Our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's not against people. It is against rulers, authorities, powers of this dark world, spiritual forces in the heavenly realms. That is a real enemy. They are the ones working behind the scene sa heart sang tao. They're the ones working sa atong temptation. And may example in sa Bible. Christ himself was tempted by the devil. Peter. Si Peter mismo. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Hambal ni Jesus, patsyon ako sang authorities. Hambal ni Peter. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Far be it from you, Lord. He said, this shall never happen to you. Very confident si Peter. Hindi niya matabo si mo, Lord, over my dead body. Grabe ka confident. Sabat ni Jesus, kanami man tani pamatian, sabat ni Jesus. But Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. <laughs> you are a stumbling block to me, for you do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of men. Jesus called Peter Satan. Wala gin mention nga gin possess si Peter, because it was still Peter nga naghambal. But Peter was influenced by Satan. Do you know that Satan could influence your words? Very harsh. Ambalan ko yawa. Imagine, ambalan mo miga mo, ay yung yawa, wala yung. Natimtar mo po. May migo ko nga ngalan niya si Jesus, ambalan sa migo namon. Pagampang namon sa, sa computeran, sa Dota. Ngini man ang migo ko. Hindi kasarang kay Jesus. Igo naman si Jesus. Ang trash talk niya yung bala niya. Jesus nga alam mo, ya batasan mo daw yawa. You can imagine, no? You watch, we watch our words. <laughs> Sometimes it is being influenced by Satan. Okay? Now, Saul was also oppressed by Satan. Ariyo, tanawanin niyo. Si Saul, si King Saul. Not, not Paula, King Saul. Now the Spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul. Nagalin ang Holy Spirit kay Saul. Okay? And an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. Now please uh, see the difference. No? Uh, right now, ang Holy Spirit dwells in you. Sang una, the Holy Spirit is on them but not in them. Wala pa nag-indwell, hindi pa sila indwell sa Holy Spirit. So ang presence ng Holy Spirit, sang una, sa mga uh, anak sang ginoo, nagahalin-halin. Okay, pareho kay Samson na dula niya, kusog niya. Okay? Now, si David even prayed, take not your Holy Spirit from me. So, di rin naman niya, kay Saul, naghalin ang Holy Spirit sa ginoo, and God used an evil spirit to torment Saul. You see the authority of God? He can even use the evil spirit to judge Saul. Nangari. Saul's attendant said to him, see an evil spirit from God is tormenting you. Let our Lord command his servant here to search for someone who can play the liar. He will play when the evil spirit from God comes on you and you will feel better. Ang word nga better, dira, you will feel comforted and you will feel happy. Kaya nga, ang ini nga spirit brought depression kag fear sa kay soul. Grabe, no? And, and, and sometimes we think that depression is just a mind nga issue. Don't you think, Ayhan, that there is a spirit behind that? Fear? Kulbaan ka? You are driven by fear and God has not given us a spirit of fear. You see that? There's, there are spiritual forces behind. And so was oppressed by this kind of spirit that brought him depression and fear. Ananias, early Christian church, Ambaldira. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie? By the way, no, uh, Ananias and Sapphira were not Christians. He proved na sa next mga wali. With, of course, with verses. But, but Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back from your, for yourself part of the proceeds of the Land. So Satan worked in the heart ni Ananias. Nagbutig si Ananias. And ginpatay siya sa ginoo. Satan, because Satan has filled 
his heart. Sabi no? Now, I want you to know that ang believer, bala ma-possess pa hindi. Can you be possessed by demons? May isa ko ka-Christian gin mo manggot ang bali, yes. Can you still be possessed ng yawa? What is the answer? The answer is no. You can only be oppressed but not possessed. Why? You, dear children, are from God, 1 John 4, 4. And have overcome them. Because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Ang them nga is the spirit of the Antichrist, sa context. It's a spirit. And ang ambal diri, you have overcome them. Why? Because the Jesus who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Ang sa Mark 15 yata, ginambal dira, nga kung ang nag sa imo house, sa imo body, is, a str- is strong, then no one could take it from you. Referring to the possessions ng evil spirit. Ginagamit na ni Christ ng example. And the one who dwells in us, in our lives, in our hearts, is Jesus Christ himself, and he is greater than anyone else. Amen? Don't be scared kung may makita ka mo dira nga naglaway. Kag naglain ng tingog. Okay. Iban nga Christian una, pahulo plaag. Christ is in you. And you can never be possessed. Amen? Why na to ya? We are freed from Satan. Now, Satan comes to bound and imprison. From where? O are una? Sin. Pride. Please listen. Addiction. Bitterness, hatred, envy, anger. Notice this. Ang ining mga things, kung ara ini sa imo, like bitterness, anger, fear, you could not control yourself. Right? Have you noticed it? Ngang nagakontrol sa imo decision is fear. Nagakontrol sa imo words is bitterness and anger. Because you are in bondage. No, no, pagid. Lust. False identity. Greed. Utod. There are spirits working behind these things to destroy you. Our battle is spiritual. And everything ara dira sa heart mo is spiritual in nature. You have to understand this. Please listen. Or else it bound ka yawa. Or else it Im- imprison ka sang yawa. Pakita ko na karon sa inyo how Christ will set us free. Anger, what's inside your heart? Una, on gidya tira, on sang yawa is your heart. Remember Ananias. Remember Judas. Even Satan entered into the heart of Judas. What is it in your heart? That's why I'm about the Bible. Let the love of Christ fill your heart. Is it lust? Sometimes, the wonder kita nga ang temptation, sometimes very strong, especially sa pornography. Young people. Grabe ang last subong sa kalibutan. Ang premarital sex, grabe. Grabe subong ang hatred, ang anger, ang cancel, ang culture. I don't like you, I don't cancel you. Black tayo sa Facebook. You don't serve my purpose, I don't care of you anymore. Nga ang kakabaskog na gitsubong, maybe, or maybe it's the, it's the truth. That there are forces behind your life and that work in your heart. That there are, there are demons that are oppressed in Satan family. Again, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of darkness against Satan. You must understand it. We must all understand it. That all our battles is spiritual in nature. 
And Satan comes to bound and imprison us. He entices us into addiction, entertainment, sex, pornography, social media. He entraps us. Grabe sa buong social media. Grabe ka dyak halit. And sometimes sa subuan ko, even on our case, nga magkalipon kami, and kada isa, may cellphone na ginakaptan. We have detached ourselves from reality. We have detached ourselves from our loved ones. Hindi nakastoryahan ay kay nga aari di sa cellphone. It's a bondage. It's a prison. Amun ang nila because it's called cell. Phone. And I hope nga matama to na to. Amen? We are into this battle daily sa life na to. Katigo lang na si mama mo, wala ka tilaw story, kaya nga ara ka lang sa cellphone mo. Depressed ka, kaya nga ara ka lang sa cellphone mo. Gwa sa kwarto. Kung gas pinggan. Nileg sa gwa. Now, dear parents, be aware, I'm not saying it's all wrong. Kaya cellphone man ko. And tanan by the way, kita guilty. Nawalian ko man ko, galingon ko, kinarimind ko man self ko. We have to protect our family to addiction. What are they watching? Kasulod bata mo sa room nila. Teenagers ni mo. Our, our teenagers right now is being destroyed by pornography. Are you being aware of Satan's schemes? Sa sulod sang inyo balay. Because you are following Satan's will. You are being in bondage. Demonic oppression means that there is a spirit behind our bondage again. And Satan is actively working. But here's the comfort sa tunod tod. 1 John 5.18 We know that anyone born of God does not continue to sin. The one who has been born of God keeps them safe. And the evil one cannot harm him. Amen? Kung anak kaya sa ginoo utod, may time gidya sa life naton nga mahulog kita sa pagpakasala. But utod, ang tuod nga Kristuhanon wala nagapadayon sa pagpakasala. Amen? This is one of the signs nga tuod ka man gid nga Christian. It doesn't mean nga kung kasimba ka sa Baptist, kinbaptize ka na sa Baptist, nagdako ka na sa simbahan, nag-officer ka na, member ka pa sa board of demon, I mean board of deacon, Christian ka na. No, sir. One of the signs ng isa ka Christian is this. He cannot go on sinning. Ma-fall kita, but we are not utterly cast down. Because the Lord upholds us with His hand. You cannot continue on sinning and the evil one cannot harm them. Now, Christians who allow con continuous sinning open themselves up for a greater and greater oppression. Utod, ang addiction natin has to stop. Has to stop. 1 John 2.16, For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. Now, conclusion. Jesus is our freedom and victory. God, Jesus Christ Himself is our freedom and victory. He came to set us free. So here's here's the order. Ona, si Satan nagabotiri to enslave humanity in sin. Then Christ came to set us free. Now, if you're a believer, Satan is after you, and we are into this battle. But praise God. Our victory is in Jesus Christ. Una, tandaan natin, Jesus is far above them all. Colossians 1.16 For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones, now notice the terms again, powers, rulers, and authorities, referring to the same thing, demonic forces and Satan. All things have been created through Him and for Him. Colossians 2.10 and in Christ. If any man be in Christ, and you are in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. He is the head. Now notice this. 
over every power and authority. You see that? Jesus Christ is not on the same league as with the devil. He has authority over them. And you are in Christ. Always remember that, that the devil and his minions is already defeated. Ephesians 1, 20-21, He exerted when He raised Christ from the dead and seated Him at His right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all ruler and authority. You see that? Ginbutang ko no kita sang ginoo sa kay Kristo. Far above all ruler and authority. We are victorious in Christ. 1 John 5, 4, 5, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, even faith. Even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world and Satan? Only the one who believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Have you put your faith in Christ? You ask yourself. Because we can never have victory over Satan and sin, over demonic oppression. If you have not come to the faith, if you have not come to a place where we humble ourselves, Lord, I am a sinner, and I believe that you are the Son of God, that you came as a Savior of this world. Have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? Now, how Jesus sets us free. Five minutes. As Satan is the father of lies, confusion, and the great deceiver, Jesus is the truth. Very important. Listen, Otod. As Satan is the father of lies, confusion, and a great deceiver, Jesus is the truth. Humbly, Jesus, sanctify them by your word. Your word is truth. That's why it's truth, again, should be our authority, not the opinions of men. Not the opinions of men. Truth is very important. As Satan holds the power of death and destruction, Jesus Christ came to give life and life more abundantly. When Satan says, no one loves you, and that is a lie. Now, where is our victory? Our victory is on the cross of Jesus Christ. When Satan says, no one loves you, see the cross. For God demonstrated his own love towards us in this. While we were still sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. When Satan says you are dirty, you see the cross. God made him who knew no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. When Satan condemns and accuses you, see the cross where Jesus was condemned in behalf of us. When Satan says you are not enough and unworthy, see the cross. Jesus is our worth. Amen? The cross, Jesus Christ, is our victory over the lies of Satan. Nagin naton daily sa aton life, over depression, over fear, over addiction. Only Jesus can bring victory sa imo. Utod, amo lang din ginapangayo sa ginoo sa aton. Don't give the devil a foothold sa imo kabuhi. Ano po tambalon sa foothold? Something na magamit sa yawa sa imo life. Something ang magamit sang yawa sa imo life. Now, do you know ang number one ng foothold sang yawa is this? Ari, pakita ko sa inyo ha? It is bitterness and unforgiveness. Diyotan ko ha? It is bitterness and unforgiveness. But if you harbor bitter envy, please read James 3, 14 to 15. And I hope we are all aware. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition, that is selfishness, that is pride, bitterness, in your hearts, now notice the word, in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Do not harden your heart. Embrace the truth. Because the truth shall set you free. And bitterness, envy, selfishness is a prison. Have you noticed it? Kaduway-dugay na itong bagay, hindi mo mabuyan, kagwa sa baba ni mo ang bitterness, 
Why? Because it is a prison. And and baro ko ang line ni Daddy, no? If you forgive, you are setting a prisoner free. And that prisoner is you. I love that sermon. Ni Daddy sa una. We are that prisoner. And selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is, notice this, notice this, earthly, and spiritual, and then demonic. See that? Earthly, carnal, iyan ay sa kalibutan, and spiritual, you're being immature, and then demonic. Demonic in nature. Ano po tambalon? That there is a force working behind. Sa bitterness ni mo. Sa unforgiveness ni mo. And gamito ni na siya sang yawa, pero mi ko ni ginag, ginahambal sa aton diri. Kaya nga, magubanay kita if you harbor bitterness and unforgiveness in your heart. Maguba family mo if there's unforgiveness. Have you noticed it? Kamu mismo kagubanay. Kita mismo ang gagubanay. And we are being unspiritual like the world. And Satan is using it. Again, it is a spiritual matter. It is spiritual in nature. 2 Corinthians 2, 10 to 11. If you forgive anyone, I also forgive him. And if I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven it in the presence of Christ for your sake. Now the next verse says, In order that Satan should not outwit us, Ang strategy galis ang yawa amo ni unforgiveness. In order that Satan should not outwit us, for we are not unaware of his schemes. No wonder why ang sa Proverbs 16, 18 to 19, tanawan ninyo ang tawag sa pride. And pride is the root cause. Remember ang, ang wali natin about uprooting? Pride is the root cause of envy, bitterness, anger, selfishness. Whatever sin there is, kagangambal dira, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride is called a haughty spirit. I don't know kung chakto pag-pronounce ko. Haughty? Haughty? Basta mo na. It is a spirit. You see that? It is a spirit. Better it is to be an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Of course, stand firm in the Lord. Again, I don't give Satan the foothold, so don't stand firm. First Peter 5, 8 to 19, be sober minded. Sober minded, I'm sorry. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Notice this ang heart and mind. Ang mind is objective, ang heart is subjective. That's why ang ginapangita sa sa Bible is be sober minded. You think properly. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. King Aton hearts is very deceitful. Be sober-minded. Nga, ang, ang yawa is roaming around like a lion seeking someone to devour. Ang, hindi, hindi si Satan ang lion. Okay? Si Jesus ang lion. He is the lion of Judah. Si Satan lang nag roar lang like lion. Pero daw kuring lang na siya. Si Jesus, siya ang lion. Okay. That's why it's very important to listen to Jesus. Don't listen to the voices of Satan. To the voices of discouragement, of fear and depression. Don't listen to them. Listen to the Lord Jesus Christ. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. The shield of faith. Truth and faith works together. Jesus Christ is the truth of God and our faith is in Him. Again, faith is our victory. James 4, 7, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Now lastly, please take note of this. No one can separate you from the love of God in Christ. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities or powers, now that is referring to the spiritual beings, nor things present, nor things to come, 
can be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Utod, we are victorious in Christ. Remember the cross, the price of our freedom. Ang humble sa Bible, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. You fight for it. You stand for it. Pakigbato, do not allow Satan and his demons to entangle us. Let us all submit ourselves to God and resist the devil.